Hello and welcome to the third of a three-part video presentation which discusses how companies need to adapt to survive future supply chain disruptions. This video presentation is hosted by GXS and my name is Mark Morley, Industry Marketing Director. Over this series of three video presentations, I've been discussing how companies need to make changes to the way in which they run their supply chains in order to minimize supply chain disruption and at the same time help to increase supply chain resilience. Over the past couple of years, there have been numerous incidents which have impacted supply chains around the world, most notably in the manufacturing sector where automotive and high-tech companies have been severely impacted. This video presentation will discuss some of the IT or more specifically B2B related changes that can help companies increase resilience across their supply chains. B2B solutions can help to minimize supply chain risk in a number of ways. For the purposes of this presentation, I just want to briefly highlight three key areas where B2B solutions can help companies minimize supply chain risk. B2B, especially via an outsourced or managed services approach, can help to provide scalability and flexibility so that if supply chain disruption occurs, then the exchange of transactions across the supply community will not be impacted. Many of today's cloud-based B2B platforms utilize co-located data center infrastructures so that if one data center goes down for any reason, then it will automatically fail over to the other data center. B2B solutions can also help to improve end-to-end -end visibility across global supply chains. You can keep track of shipments, monitor the performance of your multimodal logistics partners, and see when deliveries get to their final destination. These solutions typically help to identify weak points across a supply chain, and hence allow alternative logistics providers to be sourced with ease. Finally, B2B solutions can help to improve information management and communications, which is the area that I will focus on for the remainder of this presentation. In the first part of this supply chain risk video presentation series, I highlighted how the Bank of Japan used 18 criteria for assessing whether to approve loans or mortgages for businesses following the earthquake in Japan in early 2011. I mentioned that many Japanese companies fared well when it came to pulling together disaster recovery plans, but they were very weak when it came to communicating a recovery plan out to businesses or trading partners. In fact, this area of information management and communication was generally very weak. I've highlighted this area in green on the spider diagram shown on this slide. B2B solutions can certainly help to improve the flow of information and contribute significantly to increasing supply chain resilience. One of the key areas where B2B tools can help minimize supply chain disruption is in the area of community management. After all, when a natural disaster strikes, you need to make sure you can remain in contact with your trading partner community or identify alternative sources for materials very quickly. Community management tools help in three ways. Firstly, community management tools can help to establish what can best be described as a centralized B2B contact directory typically a self-serving environment where all contact information for a particular supplier can be held. If working as part of a complex supply chain, such as those found in automotive or high-tech sectors, then they can also help you to understand the structure of these supply chains, effectively building a map of your supply chain environment. As a condition of doing business with some companies, suppliers will be forced to enroll through a workflow-driven registration process to ensure that they provide all of the relevant contact information concerning their business. Secondly, community management tools help to improve command and control processes across your supply chains. They allow you to quickly assess the state of your supply chain in terms of identifying which suppliers have been impacted following a period of significant disruption. As the suppliers provided all of their contact information during the registration process, community management tools allow you to send out mass communications with ease. You can also ask suppliers to complete online surveys to assess the condition of your supply chain. If they are unable to meet specific supply demand levels from their customers, then you can quickly identify alternative sources for these components or parts. Dual sourcing of key components is becoming a popular method of combating supply chain disruption and community management tools helps to orchestrate the selection of alternative suppliers very quickly. Finally, community management tools help to minimize supply chain risk. Companies deploy Microsoft Office tools for creating documents. They implement ERP systems for managing production and employee processes. 
so why not implement community management tools to help establish a dedicated IT infrastructure to help assess, manage and mitigate supply chain risk? When was the last time your company undertook a risk assessment of your supply chain? How long did it take to complete? Did every company participate in the assessment? How did you apply scores and weightings to the results? And what corrective actions did you take to mitigate future risk? The ability to assess the state of your supply chain via simple to use community management tools helps to bring a significant competitive advantage during a period of supply chain disruption. Has your company thought about setting up a trading partner risk database as part of a process of increasing resilience across your supply chain? GXS Rollstream is a community management tool that can help to build greater resilience to future supply chain disruptions. GXS Trading Grid, the world's largest cloud integration platform, has traditionally focused on moving data from one location to another. GXS Rollstream, on the other hand, has been designed from the ground up to manage the people-to-people -people interactions across the supply chain, an area that many companies tend to forget when extending or restructuring their supply chains. From establishing a centralized contact database for your trading partner community through to deploying risk assessments, GXS Rollstream improves the way in which you interact with your suppliers on a daily basis. Whether working with contract manufacturers in China, distributors in Eastern Europe, or working with third-party logistics providers in South America, GXS Rollstream can provide a single global platform that can help improve the flow of information across your extended enterprise. Comcast is one of the world's leading providers of information and communications products and services. In 2010, Comcast Cable embarked on a 100% paperless program to boost productivity and increase visibility into their supply chain. Comcast wanted to find a way of automating the process for collecting and managing vendor-related information. They have over 100,000 vendors in their Oracle Vendor Master file. To keep the information current, Comcast relied on phone calls, exchange of emails and other manual people-intensive processes. One of the key problems they faced was duplicate entries and out-of-date addresses for vendors. The staleness and inaccuracy of their data presented a potential regulatory risk as Comcast needed to provide revenue reporting for their vendors to the US tax authorities. If contact information is incorrect, then Comcast could be faced with significant fines and a greater risk of audit. In addition to ensuring that vendor information was accurate, Comcast also wanted to automate the vendor registration process. Comcast sets up around 100 vendors each day, and the vendors needed to submit a variety of regulatory documents as part of their enrollment process. Leveraging Rollstream's application program interface allows Comcast to automatically extract the data from the vendor's profile and provide an automatic update to their Oracle system. Now, Comcast enables vendors to do self-service information management without providing vendors with direct access to the back-end Oracle system. GXS Rollstream has allowed Comcast to significantly reduce the cost of managing vendor-related information. The risks of legal and regulatory fines and penalties have been minimized, and the time to register and onboard vendors has been considerably reduced. More importantly, if there is disruption to the various services that Comcast offers to their customers, then they are able to initiate a mass communication process with ease. In addition, Comcast can now easily keep track of individual vendor responses for compliance purposes. This brings us to the end of this series of video presentations relating to supply chain risk. We hope it has provided you with some insights into how companies are trying to improve the management of their supply chains during periods of disruption. So I guess I should leave you with one last thought. Is your supply chain prepared? This concludes the presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video presentation. Please remember to look out for parts one and two of this video presentation series on supply chain risk on YouTube. For further information on how GXS Rollstream can help to minimize supply chain disruption and increase supply chain resilience, please contact GXS by the details shown on this slide. Goodbye.